Governor Ron DeSantis in Florida has signed a new law allowing for permitless concealed carry of guns in the state of Florida. The closed door event where he of course signed this into law included only NRA and pro gun lobbyists in the room. Now, meanwhile, Florida Republicans are working on passing legislation that would ban abortion past six weeks because they allegedly want to protect life. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense when you take a step back and look at the bigger picture here. We'll get to the anti abortion legislation in just a moment, but why don't we start off with the permitless concealed carry law? The new law will allow anyone who can legally own a gun in Florida, which is basically everyone, to carry one without a permit. It means training and a background check will not be required to carry concealed guns in public. It takes effect July 1st. My question in response to this is simple, why? Why? Like why is it so difficult? It's not difficult to get a permit, it's not. So why this weird gratuitous deregulation of already laxed gun laws in Florida? Now again, no license, no training, no background check needed. You just need to be over the age of 21. Nearly 3 million Floridians have a concealed weapons permit. While a background check and three day waiting period will still be required to purchase a gun from a licensed dealer. They are not required for private transactions or exchanges of weapons. So that is the loophole that we oftentimes refer to when we want to close federal background check loopholes, right? If you're buying from a private seller, you don't have to deal with certain regulations, which is pretty terrible and allows for individuals who have no business carrying weapons, getting their hands on the weapons that they should not be in possession of. We've got more details on this before we get to it though. Francesca, just, I mean, we're dealing with endless mass shootings and Ron DeSantis and the Florida legislature is just like, let's deregulate further. Let's make it more unsafe to just live your life. You know, we the Stop Woke Act. You know, history is criminalized, but guns are all good. I would argue that guns have been a problem throughout our history, but hey, that's just me. Recent history would prove that. My question is this, Anna. You said why? I think that's a great question. I think if they want to build a case for guns, all right, let's. Pretend we don't remember the recent mass shootings in let's say Parkland, Um, dozens of students killed. Let's not remember, but give me your PR pitch. All the times that guns have saved someone's life, all the people who came into the rescue, just you know, what did they save you from? Was someone trying to like steal your phone and you murdered them? What else? Are you gonna hold up George Zimmerman who bravely killed Trayvon Martin for, I mean, that wasn't with, or it was with a gun. Like, like these are the people, this is what I'm telling you. Like how, why, like when have guns saved your life? Straight up, I'm, I'm seriously asking, because we don't see those stories ever. Oh, but they must exist, they don't. That's what I'm arguing, they don't exist. And they don't even exist when the cops are, are in for the rescue. We've seen that a million times on the TYT network and on this show as well. How many times do cops make it worse, kill unarmed people? They're armed to the teeth, they have tons of training. And they're gonna be even less safe now with this law. So please tell me, show me all the heroic man, save small child with gun. I don't see those stories, cuz they don't exist. You know, the thing that's just frustrating to me is, why is it so difficult to, I mean, they had a system in place to get the permit if you want to conceal carry in Florida, and no one was complaining about it. This just came out of nowhere, right? Because this is all Republican lawmakers have, right? It's always stuff like this. Anything to make it appear as though they're working real hard for your best interest, when in reality, Really, we, we, we want to get rid of the training requirements, the permit requirements for concealed carry in public. But why? It's not difficult to obtain a gun in Florida. I'm, I know people who have like an entire freaking arsenal or room dedicated to guns. The permit process was not laborious, it was not difficult, it was not challenging. No one asked for this. 
In fact, why don't we get to some details on, on what this actually means and how this could um, really increase gun violence in Florida. There is some data um, to, to get to. So first of all, Ron DeSantis in, in a statement about this legislation said, you don't need a permission slip from the government to be able to exercise your constitutional rights. Okay, yeah, we're talking about something that can kill others. And a permit is not some difficult thing to undergo or to obtain in order to buy a weapon of death. Okay, but okay, fine, that, that's his point of view. Former Democratic Representative Debbie um, Mukherjee, McCarcel Power or Powell, I should say, pointed out this concerning fact. Between 2021 and 2022, more than 7,000 Florida residents had a disqualified history. They were denied to carry a concealed weapon, but now the Florida legislature wants to strip away these important provisions. So since they had that permit process in place, over a one year period, 7,000 Florida residents did not qualify for the gun purchase or at least carrying the gun, a concealed weapon publicly, okay? So now those 7,000 people, if they want to buy a gun now and do the concealed carry, they can do it. There's nothing stopping them, right? The safeguards that were in place before are now gone. So that's a long way of just saying people are gonna die as a result of yes. more people who shouldn't have possession of weapons easily obtaining the weapons. Because what do the background checks see? They see, oh, you have a history of domestic violence. Oh, you, you know, the cops were called in this instance. Oh, you like went off at somebody, you know, in a store and they called the cops and there was an altercation. Like these are all the things that background checks do. And again, look, if you're a Second Amendment, you know, diehard, okay. Well regulated. Mm -hmm. Well regulated. I mean, let's put militia aside. I don't know what you do in your private time, you know, but like, I don't see any militias, really. Are you openly, okay, let's put that aside. Well regulated. None of this is well regulated. And Anna, you're right in terms of it's easy to get a gun in Florida. Honestly, it's easy to get a gun, even in California. Yeah. You, we talked about the gun show loophole. You just go to a gun show. I remember I went to a gun show, came out, and I see these, hear these two dudes talking, and they like loved it because they were like, you know, they thought it was cool and they liked it. One of them says the other, God, I can't believe you can just buy that. Yeah. Yeah, these are people who like guns, and they were like, "I still don't. I don't. Wow, crazy." <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's. By the way, it's super easy to purchase a gun in California through the legal channels without having to yeah. take advantage of a gun show loophole. It's not difficult. True. So I just I don't understand any of this. Now, simultaneously, while the Florida State Legislature is passing lax or, or deregulation. For their already laxed gun laws, they're also pretending like they care about human lives, which is why they're controlling the bodies of women in their state by out. They're attempting to outlaw abortion past six weeks. A lot of women don't even know they're pregnant at six weeks. Okay, I mean, most it's, it's most women. Let's just keep it real, right? Because it's just too early to know. <laughs> so you you it, most a women, cycle and a half? Are you kidding me? This is an effective so yeah, ban. Nothing. We know this. This is an effective yeah. all-out universal ban of abortion in the state of Florida, similar to what they did in the state of Texas. And so uh, the bill SB 300 would ban most abortions after six weeks of pregnancy, with exceptions for women facing life-threatening harm during pregnancy, and exemptions of up to 15 weeks for victims of rape, incest, and human trafficking. None of those exceptions oh. really matter. If the woman is experiencing health issues, life-threatening health issues, that does matter, right? But victims of rape, incest, and human trafficking, they would have to come forward to the authorities. They would have to have their case adjudicated. I mean, no one's gonna do that. So the exceptions are just a weird cover for an incredibly cruel policy that just seeks to punish and control the lives and bodies of women. That is what this is really about. Because if they were genuinely concerned about human lives, Francesca, they wouldn't do away with the permit process to obtain lethal weapons in that same state. Yeah, the only way to terminate a pregnancy in Florida is to give the zygote a gun and have it shoot its way out. That's, I mean, really, like, 
Too bad it can't hold it. Man, they gotta make smaller little guns. That'll be cute and that adorable. Don't Anna, give them ideas. You and I haven't, <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, they don't have fingers, that's the thing. Um, you and I haven't spoken, you know, you obviously went viral for your, you know, your very righteous and wonderful rant about, you know, religious fundamentalism in this country. Mm -hmm. And I would argue, and I think you you just said, we've completely jumped the shark on that. Like it's not about your God, your religion. It's not, it's not about that. It is about control. Yep. It is about now if that has to do if if it's convenient for your own particular take on your own particular religion or in Christianity in this case, cool. But it is just about control. And it is sick and twisted. And you're totally right. There's no pause button on the uterus while you're, you know, a judge is adjudicating uh, your rape trial. You don't be like, oh hey, little Zygo, could you stop? Because I'm gonna have this unwanted pregnancy just as soon as this judge can tell can convict my rapist. A year and a half later, like, come on. Yeah. Well, uh, the update on that bill uh, is, you know, the measure was approved 26 to 13, but it's it must pass the state house uh, before heading to uh, Governor Ron DeSantis's desk to be signed. So while the uh, laxed gun law did in fact pass and has been signed by Ron DeSantis. Uh, this anti-abortion bill still needs to pass the state house, but with the super majority that Republicans enjoy in the state of Texas, I have no doubt that this is gonna get through. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.